This first tutorial will be devoted to entering the first two measures of Mars or Dadis, Liquid et Saban or Stabilit. We will start by entering the bass notes in automatic duration mode, which is very useful for quickly entering notes. The automatic duration mode is already selected, the button of the far left of the palette being selected. This button shows the duration of the note to be inserted, in this case a whole note. This automatic duration varies according to the position of the cursor in the measure and its environment. Here I use tab key to move the cursor from a quarter note position at each press. This is the offset value of the tab key in automatic duration mode. You may have noticed how the note value changed as I was entering notes. Knowing that the bass lines are identical in the first and second measures, I select the four notes I've just entered and paste them into the current ne next measure. Knowing how I created the second measure simply by pushing the wall with the right arrow key. Still in automatic duration, I will now enter the last note of the melody. I know that the note I've entered is an eighth note, which is what you would expect from the fact that I entered it on the offbeat. But the automatic duration mode also had the effect of transforming the previous quarter note into an eighth note, which is a mistake. But this error is very easy to correct using the quarter note button on the palette. I have thus restored the note to its quarter note value. I have also left the automatic duration mode to switch to the chosen duration mode. If I don't change anything, all the notes I will insert will be quarter notes. Now that the best notes have been entered, we will proceed in the chosen duration mode to enter the melody. Let's start with the eighth north triplet. Let's first position the cursor on the starting note. After having selected the eighth note triplet duration in the palette, I type successively three to insert the A sharp tab to move to the next position, four to insert the B tab and up arrow and finally zero for the B open string. I have just entered the triplet. Being in the chosen duration mode, I did not change the value of the first bass, which remains a quarter note. Each time the tab key is pressed, the cursor has moved to the position of the next note according to the current duration. After having selected the eighth note duration in the palette, I can now enter the other notes of the melody. For a change, I will insert the notes from the musical staff. I position the cursor on the target interval and press enter to insert the note. We will start with the E, then the A, then the G, then the last E. To enter the A on the second beat of the second measure, I use an even faster technique. I simply type the initial of the desired note. Shift A. Before inserting the A, I should have changed the chosen duration to quarter. I correct very easily with the quarter note button. All the notes are now entered. The effects still have to be entered. To enter the effects, I will use the buttons of the palette. But I could just as easily have used the keyboard shortcuts S for slide, P for polyf, and B for brush. Note the brush is only placed on the starting note. Having done this, if I start the MIDI playback, I will get, I will get a pretty decent result. While the music finishes playing, let's look at the score we just entered. If we are interested in musical notation, we have to admit that the score is not correct yet. In particular, the melody voice is not complete. There are missing notes in the upper voice, so you have to add some rest to complete the notes. To add a rest, simply select the duration of the rest you want and then type a dot, as if you are finishing a sentence. Like notes, rests can be entered from the notation or tablature. However, these rests are not completely orthodox because they are beamed. To remove the unwanted beam, I select the rest and press the X key. For the score to be perfect, a half note rest should be added at the beginning of the second measure. We should also complete the upper voice on the last beat, either by adding a quarter note or, more appropriately, by creating a tie note. I therefore insert a quarter note and link it to the previous one using the button provided for this purpose. I could also use the keyboard shortcut L. 
Now the problem is that the stem of some notes is misorientated. For example, the two notes selected are not correct. I invert the stem with the appropriate button on the palette. Here again we have a note to correct. This time I will use the keyboard shortcut A to orient the stems upwards. Another detail to be adjusted in the stuff concerns the display of the alterations on the very first beat. Indeed, with a flat followed by a natural, we have an accumulation of alterations that overload the score. It is more elegant to replace B flat by an A sharp. Let's use the sharp button to, of the palette to force the program to display an A sharp instead of a B flat. To finish, let's improve a little bit the last beat of the first measure. The first E is red because there is a duration error. Indeed, this E cannot last longer than an eighth note because of the next note on the same string. Let's correct the duration and pass the two E's on the lower voice with Z. Then make the G on the third string a quarter one.